Hi everyone, my name is Didier from ID2 3D and today I'm going to explain you how to go from an image that you find on the internet to a dual color model that you can print on the Ultimaker 3. This is the second part of the tutorial that will explain how to use the vector file that we created in Inkscape in Fusion 360 to create a dual color model that we can use for 3D printing. So the first thing we are going to do is create a new component. Then I create a sketch and I draw a circle. This will be the base of my coaster. I will choose 125 millimeters as diameter. Then I stop the sketch and I create another component. In this component I create a sketch and then I choose insert, insert SVG and I'll select the vector file I created with Inkscape. I click on open and the vector file appears. Here I can scale it and move it. So I will place it over my circle and scale it to make it fit perfectly. This looks good to me. So we'll click OK and stop sketch. Now I'm going to extrude my first circle. So I select the first component and I select the sketch of the circle I created. Then I choose modify, press pull and I extrude it 2 millimeters. Then I select the second component. I hide the first one and I select all the parts of the sketch from the vector file in order to extrude it. So I click on modify, press pull and I extrude 2 millimeters also. This creates six bodies in the second component. Now we need to cut these bodies from the first body. So to do that we go in modify, combine, the target body is the first body from the first component and the tool bodies are the six bodies from the second component. The operation is a cut and we have to keep the tools in order to keep the bodies from the second component. Once the operation is done, a couple of new bodies appear under the first component. It's easy to see the difference between the two components in the render environment. So you can just apply some colors or some materials to the first component, for example bamboo and some black plastic to the second component. So you will see clearly the two components. Now we just have to export the components in STL. So right click on the first component, save as STL. This selects all the bodies and export them in one STL file. Select the file name and click OK. Then we will do the same for the second component. Right click, save as STL and click OK. We used components in this case because we have multiple bodies per color. This makes our life easier when we export to STL. I 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it useful. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and share the video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Thanks and see you soon.